What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So as some of you know, I just moved into a new space and with that, I wanted to incorporate some interesting tech and setup ideas since I have a totally clean slate to work with. My bedroom in particular has a fairly large front wall and I genuinely consider just going the usual route and picking up a decent 4K TV to mount up there. I could probably go 55 inches or even larger, but I already have a pretty solid 55 inch 4K TV setup in my living room and I didn't really want to just duplicate that for my bedroom. I really wanted something different and a little more unique. I also wanted to use up as much of the wall as possible since it's about 10 feet across and at least 8 feet high, so it's really a lot of real estate to work with. So instead of going with a TV, I opted to try out a compact size, very budget friendly projector to sort of see where I could go with that instead, and I am really happy with the result. The projector that I went with is this one from the folks over at Woni. It's only 80 bucks, so it's very inexpensive expensive, but I think it offers just about everything you'd need for a first time, very basic projector setup. It's very light and fairly compact, which when you see how I ended up setting it up, you'll understand why I needed to go a little smaller. But even at this size, you still get most of the important inputs and things that you need. For me, I only really needed HDMI, but there's also VGA in and an SD card and USB inputs too, along with the necessary audio inputs. You've also got some button controls directly on the projector if you need those, but it does come with a dedicated remote, and you can make adjustments to the image of course, and there's also some leveling adjustments too. As far as how I set this up in my bedroom, I wanted it to be as clean as possible. I couldn't exactly mount it to the ceiling or anything like that, so instead I picked up a really simple shelf from Ikea that I mounted about a foot above my bed. And that's where the projector sits, which is a perfect spot for hitting the wall across the room. And fortunately, the shelf hasn't fallen on my head yet when I'm sleeping, so that's a plus. As far as the cables, at the moment I only needed to use two. The power cable, obviously for the projector, and an HDMI cable. I ended up just cutting a little channel behind the shelf so the cables could drop straight down along the wall behind the bed. And I also used an IKEA cable channel to keep the cable straight and hidden, which I think looks all right all things considered. What I will have to do later on is incorporate some external speakers because the built-in sound coming from the projector alone isn't really loud enough, so that will be the next addition when I decide on what route I'll go with that. Like I mentioned earlier, you do get this dedicated remote for the projector, which you'll need primarily to power it on and just change the inputs. Okay, so now for the important part, how does it all look? I think keeping your expectations in check here and remembering that it's only an $80 projector, it definitely does get the job done, and I'm personally pretty happy with how it looks. The projector supports up to 1080p resolution at 2200 lumens, and you can get a screen size of up to 170 inches. This right here is probably closer to 110 inches or so, maybe a bit bigger, and we're not even in complete darkness since the windows are casting a little bit of light. But overall, I think it does look good. It's obviously the kind of viewing experience that does look best from a few feet away. If you get close, you're of course going to see that sort of pixelated texture, since it's a big screen at a lower resolution. But a projector is kind of the quintessential example of a product with extreme diminishing marginal returns. You can get a 720p or 1080p projector for a decent price, even pretty cheap like this one. But as you go a little bit bigger, a little bit brighter, a little bit better resolution, you're paying exponentially more money. I would much rather pay 80 bucks for a super Super simple 1080p projector like this one for a very casual bedroom setup where I'm just watching TV. And I still have my living room 4K TV anyway, keep in mind. And when I build an entire home theater, then I'll probably aim for some $1,500 4K projector. Until then, this totally works for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what you think of this setup in the comments below. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later.